Welcome to New Vegas Mod Clinic Part 2. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the Advanced Recon series of mods. Now, you should know that those mods are mine, so I am, of course, biased towards them. Um, they are mods specifically aimed at stealth type characters stealth, traps, explosives, snipers, that type of thing. They add things like stealth armor or special scopes for your sniper rifles, the ability to detect traps, thermal night vision, etc. There's uh, quite a lot of things um, shipped with this mod, well, this series of mods, because there are actually five mods in this series, uh, and I'm going to show you how to install and use all five. Okay, the first mod we're going to cover is the Advanced Recon Trap Detection mod. Now, Quite unsurprisingly, this mod gives you the ability to detect traps. Now, it can do this in a number of ways. The first one is through an item called the Trapinator 4000. And you can see in the video where it is, uh, where it's found. I'll not tell you anything more than that, but I'm pretty sure you can figure it out. And this item is held just like a pistol. Uh, it's like a handheld detector. And when you draw the detector as you can see you can now see the remains of a trap and the trap will keep glowing until you put the detector away and after a few seconds it fades now this also works for mines and uh, all sorts of explosive traps so for example if I put a frag mine down and change to the Trapinator 4000 there you go very easy to see now. And there is also a perk that will give you detect traps. Now it requires you to have a reasonable survival or explosive skill, uh, but it does the same thing as the Trapinator, except it's a natural ability um, that is activated when you sneak. So as you can see, I sneak and now I can detect traps. Now obviously this costs a perk, but it has the advantage of being something that cannot be taken away from you. Um, so those of you who have played certain DLC will know exactly what I'm hinting at. Okay, installing advanced uh, recon trap detection is trivial. Very, very easy indeed. Uh, download the main file. I then open the package manager, add FOMOD, and select the archive I just downloaded, Advanced Recon Trap Detection, version 2.7 at this particular time. Make a copy of the original file, yes. And then activate. Now, it gives you several options, and the first one is to add the Trapinator 4000, that is the handheld trap detector. You can deselect that if you do not want that item added. Um, also, the Detect Traps perk you can also remove if you wish. And, of course, there's the DLC support. Now, this requires currently um, all three DLC. Uh, as DLC comes out, I will be adding to them, and you will need every one of the DLCs to use this option. Uh, I'm basically assuming if you've bought one DLC, you've bought them all. Now, what does this mean? Well, it, it does mean you can actually remove these options here, the Trapinator and the Detect Traps perk. And by default, there will be no way of detecting traps. And you might wonder why you would do that. Well, the reason is... The master file for this can be used by other mods that could detect traps. And in fact, my Advanced Recon Thermal Night Vision uh, does exactly that. Yeah, it, if it detects the detect traps master, it will give that functionality to the target acquisition computer if you so wish. However, I want both of these options anyway. And I install. And that's it. Finished. Now, I mentioned the Advanced Recon Thermal Night Vision mod, so let's cover that one next. Now, this mod is best if you use NVSE and the MCM mod. That's the Mod Configuration Menu mod. But they're not essential. 
However, I do highly, highly recommend them. It makes life a lot easier. And, and there is some functionality that is not available if you do not have NVSE. Now you'll notice the items here are in Doc Mitchell's house. This is because I chose to cheat during the install. There's an option in the installation to cheat and put the items in Doc Mitchell's. I do not recommend doing this. You should find the items where they're supposed to be. But if you just want to try them out, you can, you can do that. So let's have a look at the items. And the first one is the Advanced Recon Helmet. Let's put that on and have a look. Now, as you can see in third person, it's uh, very high tech. A lot of optics, breather apparatus, etc. Doesn't really go well with this uh, armor. So let's look at it first person. Now, as you can see, it's got the Project Nevada overlay, um, which is pretty cool. But what we're really, really wanting to see now um, are the advanced functionality that this helmet has. So, for example, it has variable night vision, and as you can see. I pressed the N key once and the world got just a little bit brighter. Still full colour, um, but a little bit brighter. However, for, for this sort of darkness it's not quite enough. So I can press the N key again and it gets a tiny bit brighter yet again. And again, still full colour. And I can keep pressing the N key and it gets brighter and brighter, but as you can see it does go monochrome at a certain point. So for example now we've got step 3 which is pretty bright but it's not the brightest setting. There's step 4 and step 5. Now by default this is the brightest and as you can see even on a very dark night and I am using Nevada Skies with the uh, darker nights everything's pretty crystal clear. Now you'll also notice there is an indicator in the bottom uh, right hand corner showing you the step night vision you're on and the battery use. Um, it is also possible to change the colour of this night vision and in fact you can actually hotkey it so that when you press the hotkey it changes for example to blue and if you don't like blue you can change it to red. I quite like the red. And of course there is also the thermal vision. This is defaulted to the M key, but you can again, you can change the keys. I'll show you how to do that later. And as you can see, it's quite difficult to see things, but people and uh, creatures are clearly seen with their heat signatures. And in actual fact, you can actually see them through objects at close range, which makes it very cool for trying to track people through walls, etc. Now, one of the other things in this mod is the Target Acquisition Computer, or TAC for short. Now, this can be equipped um, and it integrates with any advanced recon optical system, any of the helmets or night vision units, um, and gives you the ability to highlight NPCs. Uh, this includes friendly ones, which will be highlighted in green, and unfriendly ones, which are highlighted in red. And this, again, can be bound to a hotkey to turn it on and off. There are some other options, but that's the default one. As you can see, you can now see this person and the Brahmin very clearly in the night. And as I mentioned earlier, if you have the Detect Traps mod installed, when you activate the TAC, it will also highlight traps, as if you were holding the uh, Trapanator 4000. And as you can see, finding corpses is a lot easier in the dark with this mod. Now there are a couple of other helmets that have the same functionality but are slightly different. So for example there is the Advanced Recon Ranger helmet which is pretty much identical um, in its functionality. It gives you the night vision, colour night vision, target acquisition computer etc. Um, as you can see in this one I am also using the optional glowing eyes for this mod, which I will show you later on. There is also a black version of this helmet, if you like that. There are also a couple of night vision units that are not full helmets, if you like to see your face and hair. Um, so for example, the night vision Mark 1, this straps to your head and has a single ocular view. Now, this is slightly different in that 
when you use the night vision, you'll notice only um, the sort of center circle is lit up, um, very much like a sniper scope. You can still see around the edges, but it's not enhanced by the night vision. So it's as if you're looking through the ocular view. But in all other respects, it's pretty much identical functionality. You have the thermal night vision, you have the target acquisition computer, um, and you actually also have uh, two different versions. There is a night vision Mark II, which as you can see has got a slightly more high-tech look. And we also have breather units, both a Mark I breather unit and a Mark II breather unit uh, to match the night vision. And all that essentially does is gives you the ability to breathe water and slight poison and radiation resistance. And to finish it off, there is a Black Ops Beret, just to give you that Special Forces look. Now this mod is actually uh, massively customizable. You can change a whole host of options as long as you have MCM installed. Uh, you simply go along to the mod configuration option and select it and you'll find the advanced recon tab and two sub pages both basic and advanced under the basic tab you can change things like the energy the units use in minutes if you set it to zero minutes it just does not use any power whatsoever um, you can also set whether or not the HUD icons should appear or not um, and also force them to be visible while in MCM. If you click on the move option um, you can use the number pad arrow keys to move the HUD icons around as you can see pressing the 5 key on the numpad or the spacebar will actually reset the movement and any other key will save it. You can also use the ASDW if you're using a laptop. You can change the night vision activation key, the color key, the thermal activation key and the target acquisition activation key if you like. And if you go to the advanced you can set a lot of custom settings. For example, if you don't like the slight night vision blur, you can turn that off. If you don't want the ocular night vision effect, you can turn that off. And you can also change the number of night vision green steps. So for example, the default is three, uh, but you can have anywhere from zero to five. Um, if you set it to five, for example, um, when you go back and use it, you will have seven night vision steps now. The first two still the full color and then you will have five NVG steps. As you can see it gets very very bright. You can also change when the target acquisition computer activates. So for example when the night vision is active. This will mean it automatically comes on the second you turn your night vision on. It's kind of a useful setting if, uh, if you like that. There you go, as soon as I turn on the night vision, the target acquisition computer comes on immediately. And there are a couple of other uh, options as well. For example, detect hostile, you can turn it off so that the hostiles don't show up in red and just shows green like everyone else. And there are also two other options that give you free perks, the spotter perk and the scanner perk, as long as you are wearing the target acquisition computer. Now these are actually a throwback to an early version of this mod before NVSE was working. So I don't recommend using these, they're not really essential anymore, but I kept them in because some people did like them. And talking of perks, there is in fact one perk with this mod, which is the Advanced Recon Sensors perk. Now what this actually does is it enhances your thermal night vision and your target acquisition computer sensors. So once you've taken this perk, um, you will be able to see enemies far, far further away on your radar. You will be able to target stealthed people when you are using the target acquisition computer or the thermal vision and in actual fact it will enhance your target acquisition computer 
to allow you to see opponents through walls very similar to the thermal night vision. To install the advanced recon thermal night vision go along to the files and again download the main file. This is a um, reasonably large but uh, it'll only take a few seconds if you've got a decent connection. Save it to my desktop again and if you want you can also download the Ranger Recon Glowing Eyes and the Ranger Recon Glowing Eyes Less Bright. Um, I like the Glowing Eyes one so I am going to download the Glowing Eyes. So now we have two files. Go back to my package manager once more. And again, add foam mod and the advanced recon gear. That's the thermal night vision. Open that and it will create the foam mod. I am also going to add foam mod and add the range recon glowing eyes. So I now have those two options. The Ranger Recon Glow and Eyes, unfortunately, I've not got round to adding the info to it, so I'm actually going to add the info there. Mod author me. That just makes it neater. So I now have those. However, here's something you should know. The Advanced Recon Thermal Night Vision mod uses HUD elements. So it's good practice to deactivate Unified HUD before activating this mod. Now you see it asks where you want the HUD icon, center top, below the sneak meter, bottom right, that's uh, above the action points. You can tell it to only install new helmets, night vision and thermal gear, or to add uh, the new gear plus add the same effects to things like power armor, veterans, ranger helmet. So when you get power armor, it will have the advanced recon effect as well. You might want to only select for the new helmets if you're using something like Project Nevada and you don't want both sets of thermal night vision. However, you should note, I actually play with Project Nevada and I allow both of them and set different keys. So I get Project Nevada's night vision if I want and the advanced recon night vision as well. So best of both worlds. You'll notice it's detected that I have Detect Traps installed, so it's asking me if I wish to integrate it. I do. I'm going to integrate that with the Detect Traps. Um, and it also asks me if I want to use Project Nevada's Helmet Visor. Well, I'm going to leave that one checked as well. Click Yes to All. Now, I am going to install this if I look at the full mod status. It's just a couple of textures, nothing much. So I activate these. I now have the glowing red eyes on the Ranger Recon helmet, uh, which is what I prefer. And don't forget, reactivate the Unified HUD project. Install, yes to all. And now it's finished. So let's talk about the Advanced Recon Rangefinder. Now this is a, a mod very, very simple mod, actually. Uh, mostly with snipers in mind, although it works for anyone who uses binoculars as well. And it basically adds a rangefinder to any scope in the game. So whenever you scope, wherever you're looking, it will tell you how far your target is away. Now, it doesn't give you any in-game advantages. It does not help aim in any way. It's purely a visual feature. It's very simple. Um, there are some limitations with it. The maximum distance it can detect is 200 meters and due to some major limitations in the game engine uh, you'll see signal lost quite often and that is where the game has not actually built the piece of world that you're looking at. Um, it's just sort of painted a background on if you think of it like that. It's a, it's a minor limitation of the world I'm afraid and there's absolutely nothing I can do about that. But Generally, pretty cool. Installing the Recon Rangefinder, again, very, very easy. You'll notice all my mods are pretty easy to install. 
<laughs> I, I uh, tend to like using the faux mod, the scripted faux mod. So save that once again to my desktop. It's just one file. Go to my package manager, add faux mod, advanced recon rangefinder. There it is. Now, once again, the advanced recon rangefinder adds HUD elements. So, good practice is to deactivate Unified HUD project, as always. There's, there's no options for this. Just install it, yes to all, and once again, activate Unified HUD project. You'll notice it's detecting advanced recon rangefinder right there. Finished. Now the next mod I'm going to talk about is the Advanced Recon Armor mod. This is a stealth armor mod that adds several sets of armor. The basic model is the Advanced Recon Armor, um, which as you can see is a mixture of Brotherhood of Steel and Chinese armor. It, it's got a sort of high-tech look without being too space age. And when you crouch and remain stationary, with no weapon drawn, you get a very powerful stealth field. As soon as you draw a weapon or move, the stealth field will drop. Now, this makes it very useful if you want to move quickly to certain areas and then remain totally undetected. Um, it allows you to time your movements with enemies so that you move quickly while they're not looking. And when they turn around, you stand still and disappear. It allows you to do stealth during the day, even if you have a mod that affects the stealth difficulty. But it doesn't add too much power. Um, it doesn't keep the stealth field on all the time, although there are options for that when you install. You can actually make the game a little easier if you wish. I don't recommend it. I actually like this stealth mix. Now, if you think it's still a little too high-tech looking, there is a battle-worn version. And the textures on this are more reminiscent of the original Recon armor. A little bit more metallic, a little heavier looking, but very worn, like it's seen quite a lot of use. I actually prefer this look, but then I, I kind of like the dirty, derelict look in all my, uh, <laughs> in all my mods. Now, there are also several disguised versions of this armor. Um, they are disguised to look like, for example, the Bounty Hunter's Duster. Um, and I'll show you that one now. It looks better with different headgear. I'm going to put some of the open headgear on. Now, you can still see the Advanced Recon Armor pieces uh, quite clearly when you're looking close, but at a distance, as you can imagine, that would look far more like a, a raincoat or a duster. And for those of you who prefer black, there is a black version of this armor um, called the Deathwalker Duster. Pretty much the same armor, just in black textures. Um, there are other versions of the armor too. There is a trench coat version. Like a military trench coat. And there is in fact a black version of this called the um, black ops coat. Again, same model, just black textures this time. <sighs> And all of these armors have the exact same functionality as the standard stealth armor. Same stats in everything, it's just a different look. There is also the range, the advanced recon ranger armor, as you can see. It's the same recon armor, but it's using the ranger's coat instead. And again, a there is a black version of this. See, I just <laughs> provide so many options. Uh, the, the black armor looks pretty good with the uh, black advanced recon ranger helmet. There you go. To install the stealth armor, download the main file.
Now this file is probably the biggest in this series, as it has the most resources. So this, depending on your link, may take you a little longer than the other files. There is an optional file to use the vanilla Veteran Ranger model instead of the Advanced Recon Ranger model. Uh, but I'm not going to install that. You can figure that one out if you if you like. I prefer the modified model for this armor. I think it should look slightly like the Recon series. Finish downloading now. Go to the Package Manager. Add Foam Mod. Advanced Recon Stealth Armor. Done. Now when I activate this file, I also have some options. The balanced stealth field option is uh, the one I recommend. Basically this gives a very strong stealth field, but only when standing still, sneaking, and with no weapon out. It's very good for, for staying completely stationary, reco reconning your target, etc. But not if you start moving around, you're relying on your normal stealth. Um, there are different options, ranging from relaxed, uh, which is more like the uh, Chinese stealth armor, except um, you, c you have to be standing still. So for example, you're sneaking, you can have your weapon out, but you can't be moving. The easy one is just like the Chinese stealth armor, very weak field, but you can pretty much do whatever you like. You can attack, and the stealth field stays up. For me, that's a little bit too easy each to his own. The hardcore, no stealth field whatsoever. If you just like the armor itself, but you don't want stealth field, you select that. There is also the cheat option to add these items to Doc Mitchell's house. Uh, again, I, I really do recommend you find these items in game. This armor is relatively high end. It's got very good damage threshold. Um, very um, similar to medium armor, even though it's a light armor and it also has the stealth field so it's quite powerful and generally I, I recommend earning it rather than just getting it early on but I'm gonna select this for now just to show you the items and I install and that's that one installed Now I'm also going to mention the Advanced Recon Desert Ranger Helmet. This is quite a small mod. And basically what it does is it adds all the Advanced Recon functionality to the Desert Ranger Helmet. That's the standard Desert Ranger Helmet. It adds the night vision, thermal vision, target acquisition computer, etc. Um, it also adds a neck cover because I do not like the open neck on that head item similar to another mod I made for the Veteran Ranger Helmet. And it also adds optional green glowing eyes, as you can see. The Advanced Recon Desert Ranger Helmet mod is one file for the main mod itself. This is the file that does the actual work. Again, save to desktop. But there is also an optional glowing eyes. Like with the Ranger Recon, which has those glowing red eyes, the Desert Armor has glowing green eyes if you select this option. For me, it, I think it looks um, just a little bit more realistic, a little bit cooler. So, package manager again, add foam mod, advanced desert ranger helmet, and glowing eyes. I probably should give that a better name, but glowing eyes for now. Those two foam mods. Activate both of them. And that's finished. I'm also going to mention another small mod called the Cyborg 
thermal night vision implant mod um, and it basically is a mod that again uses the advanced recon thermal night vision but provides it via an implant that you can take as a perk and that is it for this video we've covered a lot of material in this one uh, and perhaps it went on a little too long and I apologize if that's the case I will be back pretty soon with part three and I hope to see you there.